Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Yes, the guy you're seeing, I'm back in the snow again. It feels like I'm in Canada. No, I'm in Germany. <laughs> Marco Mattis, one of the best of Germany. You are. You've been, Thank you. <laughs> you're getting lots and lots of results. Where are we in Germany? So people know. Uh, we are here in the state Hessen, also called Hessen. Uh, it's a big area. It's in the middle of Germany, yes. Normally in the April we have no snow, but the last day falls down many snow. Uh, but we are here in the middle of Germany and we have many mountains. I have, you see this like here, many wood. And in four weeks the racing season starts and you see it's snow and the, the woods have uh, uh, um, not uh, no tree no, no leaves no leaves but the next four or five uh, weeks this comes and then we can begin the racing season okay and uh, you specialize in what kind of racing I'm specializing um, from 270 to 660 kilometers the middle distance and I, my, I like only the races over 400 kilometers 400 500 600 kilometers the middle long distance we say in Germany middle long distance middle and long distance and the, the base of your pigeons, the base of your bloodlines mm. are what? The base of my bloodlines are Gabi van der Nabele pigeons. Most of them, every pigeon I breed is Gabi van der Nabele inside. And I have a very good cock. Um, the cock was from 1994, um, the number with the 116, and I coupled them together. 116 with the Gabi blood, and then I crossed with the other line, yes, like Johann Donkos I have. I crossed inside Georg Frölingsdorf, very famous German breeder, very good. And um, Rick and Jan Hermann's pictures, and Danny van Dijk. So all the, all the big name, good names, but yes. good pigeons, yes. and uh, they cross very well with your Gabby Van and Nabil pigeons. You've had some super results. Before we look at the loft and the birds, uh, in the last, let's say, three to five years, what have been some of your biggest achievements, big, big wins? Okay, the, the first big win was in 2015. I win the championship of Hesse. It's against around about 5,000 members. And um, then I have won many in, in, in the small competition. I win all uh, from uh, hens, cocks, yearlings. Uh, but from the big competitions, I win in 2019 the Duif. It's a the great competition in Belgium. Yes. And in 2019, again, the second time uh, as a champion of Hesse. Then I have in 2012, for example, with Mattes Lady, the best yearling hen in Germany. The, then the five ace hen in Germany. And I have, for example, in 2019, the best hen of Van Rooy's championship, best old hen. And win the, the cup of Van Rooy's championship, it's a Belgium feat company yes this was one of the best and most uh, greatest championships but in the small competition I win all yes are you in all and, and the, the golden Doif one that you won in 2019 um, <clears throat> how many how many loss were you competing against to win that it's a very important to have um, fast pigeons to win the Doif. Mm -hmm. Yes, and when it's the best is when many pigeons r race in the competition on the race. Uh, I have one, two, three against four thousand, for example. One, two, five against three thousand eight hundred. It's very important to have um, high ace points, and then the Doif. It's it's very important uh, the, the the fast places yes yeah, the first one the right first up front ones. and then it's the special by the Dolphins you have to to say this picture you have to nominate nominate the picture yes you have to nominate the picture and this was very good yes you have to cook uh, which picture is good I can nominate and that's uh, you have a little bit in the pigeon finger, fingers in the picture fingers <laughs> to say it. Uh, you have to look uh, many so, hours a day, it's good in condition or not. So not only do you know how to condition pigeons to win, you have pigeon fingers, you know how to select pigeons, mm -hmm. and you can win, uh, I've seen in your home, you win with young pigeons, mm -hmm. you win with hens, you win with cocks, you win with yearlings, mm -hmm. two-year-olds, mm -hmm. your pigeons find a way to get to the top. Mm -hmm. Can we can we go and take yes, a look at the loft? Sure, sure, very happy that you visited Guys, me. we are here with Marco Mattis, Germany. Here I have uh, the breeding pigeons, we can uh, look after. So just a small little glimpse here, his breeding, a small little breeding loft. And this is a very nice loft here. This is for only for the racing pigeons. Okay, and how, how long would this loft be? The loft is 30 years old. 30 years old, it's and no how, problem. how long? About 24 feet long? 
Um, 10 meters. 10 meters, guys. Yes. 10 meters long. Do you darken the pigeons? The young pigeons, do you put them no, on the darkening? No, no, no. No, no dark system, um, no uh, winter breeding. Nothing. I have at the moment, I have no youngsters. No youngsters no. now, okay. It's Let's a other different system than Belgium. I know Belgium make pairing the pigeons, uh, the breeders, uh, end of November. In Germany, I don't make this. I begin breeding in the end of February, yes. The end, the end of February, and there you see just the small little breeding loft, which we're gonna get into that in a little bit here. We're with Marco Mattis, that's right. Go inside Super, the superstar of Germany. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this is, it is the racing pictures at the moment. I pair them for the racing, and this year I make different. I breed no youngsters. I make only um, to that they, I like to that they um, one time lay eggs, the hens, breed five days, and then separate them. Okay, so with these hens, so these are the race cocks and the race hens. Okay? Yes. So these are both cocks and hens. Yes. Now you've paired them up. You're going to let them stay together until uh, they drop eggs. Yes. Five days of sitting on eggs, and you will separate them. That's the problem because the molting, when you um, when they breed longer, it's possible that they can molt the first fevers, and I don't like this. And after five days, I look, five days breeding, and then I take the hens from the cocks. Okay, so, so, so again, these pairs are going to drop eggs. They're going to sit on the eggs for five days. Yes. After five days, you take the eggs away. Yes. You take and, the and separate. You separate them all. So oh. you leave, oh. is this the cock section or the hens? Both. It's cocks and racing hens. But uh, at the moment, only one hen leg I paired last Saturday. I put them together. I think one hen only has a he uh, egg. You see the hen. Yes, not yes, yes. Now, is this is this section for the hens or the cocks? Uh, normally, in the racing season, here uh, are the cocks. The cocks. So they get a nice widowhood box, mm -hmm. and you can see ventilation is very nice in here. <laughs> High ceiling. Right, very, uh, breathing nice, no smell of pigeon. You no, like to uh, scrape the floor. Many, it's very important for me to have many air for the pigeon. Good I air. Open, yes, good air. I open this a little you bit. You can open the windows if you want. This is where. But clo closed in um, after the night. Then I you close all. everything up. You want everything very closed. Very important. Tight. But over the day, it's no problem. I like this to have many air in the loft. Okay. So we see the pairs are paired up. Yes. Um, oh, when are you going to start letting them out? The what? When do you start to let the cocks and hens out? Um, I would like to show you. I have, they fly one week. One week already. Yes, one together. Week together. You Both don't worry. Together. It's very good. Yes. To, that's no problem. Yes. They co can go out and go in the loft and fly two or three rounds about the house and then go in the. No stress in the first weeks. But when they separate, when I separate them next week, perhaps uh, 10 days, then um, they only. I raise the cocks and the hands separate. Fly. Okay, so they, they, it, once you separate them, then they go on their own. Yes. Okay, so when you when you separate them, do you let them out at the same time every day? Um, when when I when them, I train them, the cocks um, I say from seven to eight o'clock, the hens eight to nine. My father makes this, and then I come from my job home, and then two times a day, seventy to eighteen o'clock and eighteen to nineteen o'clock. The pigeons race two hours uh, a day. So yes. uh, basically, in the morning and in the evening, yes. Yes. So hens and cocks. Yes. Uh, do you flag them or do you let them do what they want? No, um, at the first, the first month, I don't make this. Um, they can make what they want, but after the season, more and more races, then the pigeons sometimes don't like to fly, and then I make a flag. Yes. So if, if they should, if, if, the, if the pigeons don't like to fly, uh, you, you flag them. Yeah. And you see super health on these pigeons. Super super health. So very simple. You separate them. 
once they're separated, you start letting them out tw uh, once at, uh, tw once in the morning, once at night. The cocks go, then the hens go. In the evening, the cocks go, then the hens go. Uh, you don't flag them. You let them do what they want. If you think they need more work, you will flag. But uh, and now, what about road training? Do you road train these hard? Yes, the first uh, three or four weeks, I make this. But um, then it's important to make this to, because we have only 300 kilometers. But when the race is over 300 kilometers, it's not so important to make uh, training over the week. Okay, so you don't, you don't. Once you get up to the distance, once you have the distance, you let the the the, 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 the transporter do it. You don't train yes. by car. Yes. And and it's interesting in Germany, Marco. You have a you have a, a a tough. You think it's a little tougher system. They have to fly. What did you say? 13 weeks in a row. Yes. The old ones. Also, the first race is in the first May, and the last in the end of July. And then every week we have a race, beginning one 170 kilometers, 200, 250, 300, and then we go 400, 400, 400, 500, 400, and the last race is over 660 kilometers. So very, very tough racing every week. Now, do you find uh, where you race? Is it mo predominantly headwinds or tailwinds? My best results, I my picture has by headwind. Headwind is very good. Then the, the, the quality comes. Yes, uh, tailwind I don't like so much because by tailwind the very good picture can make not a prize. But by headwind, the good picture is in the first. Yes, that's very important. I like the, the most of headwind. Gabi van der Nabele pictures very good at headwind, and I like the the meters is 1,200 meters around about this. I don't like the races with 2,000 meters in the minute. That's it's very fast then sometimes the good picture fly away and come back but by headwind the good picture is here in the loft yes and so you, al soon. you always say you're judging the pigeons on headwinds not on tailwinds mm. you don't see the quality as much in a tailwind pigeon okay great yeah. so a very simple system they got to do a lot of racing and he heavy heavy distances 400 kilometers 500 600 that's what you like with these pigeons mm -hmm. And yes, Marco gets the results. So it's not a very big team. No, I have only 64 pictures at, uh, for this year because I I will only have the quality and um, one third is of the old ones and two third is uh, um, young yearlings. Yes, you see on the rings, yes. I have many with blue rings. Yes. It's only one year old. And the green, it's, it's the old ones, but race very good. And one or three is old ones, and two or three is yearlings. Now, uh, question, medications. Do you use a lot of medications with the pigeons? Um, before the racing season starts, last week I made this, I make a medication with trichomonas. Trichomonas. Five, five days. I make this everything when I pair them together. I make this five days for my, it's my opinion it's okay and then I drive to a veterinary a doctor and when they say okay we have to do like this like this I make this before racing season starts but most of them he say it's all good I have to do anything you see the drops it's not wet or something yes. and then it's good it's good condition and then I make nothing yes with medicine but I make vaccination yes against paramixu salmonella paratyphus um, rotavirus at the moment Moment. And for me, it's very important. You see this when the picture you make with the camera, they have to be quiet, yes, because you have to speak with them. It's not good when a picture you see the camera the first time in this life and fly uh, us in our face. Yes. I, I like to have the, the, these pigeons here are very, very calm. They've never seen a camera before. Mm. They're very, very calm. So, you like calm pigeons? I think they're important. Well, these pigeons haven't moved out of here at all. Mm. And so, you spend a lot of time in here? Yes, and at the moment, not so much because I'm working working hard and I have three children uh, I spend two three hours a day yes but when 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 you think about it, you can get a very good racing seasons then I spend five six hours a day with the pictures okay to clean the lofts to let them fly to uh, speak with them then to feed the pictures sometimes you need one an hour and I look as come here and come 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 uh, then you need a little bit more time but at the moment two three hours a day yes two three hours a day. Now, when you start flying these pigeons for the first races, you fly them widowhood? 
Yes, we do. So you'll show the. How do you fly it? You, when do you show the hands? How does no. this work? Um, when when it's racing day, basketing day, um, they get the feet. Yes, okay. I feed and at 11 o'clock I put the feet away. Away. Yes, and then they get nothing. You can drink, and then the cocks. I open the the boxes. The boxes like this. The cocks go inside. Okay. And then I close them when the box is inside. I make the same with the other loft and with the hands. And then I don't show the hands the cocks. It's not important. You don't show the hands no. at all. It's too much work. You have too much you dust. Dust, and dust when you make this, and it's not um, not important to make this. I have the same results when I show or not show, and then I say I don't show. You don't show. Oh. Okay. When they come home, do they get? Yeah. Then they get the mates. Then they get yes. And they race all. Then can they all the day um, stay together? The whole day. So the when, whole they, day? when they come home, they get their mate. Uh, do you always have extra birds in here no. in case? No, only the race birds. Only the race. So birds. if a cock comes home first and there's nobody here. It's not good for the cock, yes, because of this, I race with the cocks good, but with the hands very good, and the hands win all the big championships by me. So you're another one that really prefers racing hands. This cock is super, this cock right here, yes. this blue one, unbelievable. I, I, I show you actually, he's the grandfather of the first prize against 6,408 pictures. I read in the newspaper, comes today, and this is uh, the father, uh, the grandfather. And this is the grandmother. Three five five is the number of the hen, and nine three four is the number of the cock. Very good racing pictures, and she's eight years old. I raised him. You're still racing. Yes. You're, so you're racing. This she hen makes over seventy prizes. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. So you're saying that this hen right here, this blue hen right here. Yes. She is eight years old. Eight years from 2014, yes. 2014, and you've been racing her. Yes. How many prizes has she accumulated? Um, I think over 70 prizes. She, she makes every year from the 13 races, 12, 11 prizes. And, and she races all the races? All the races, yes. So every week. Every week. Okay. So this hen is, you said eight years old. Yes. She's flown 13 weeks in a row for eight years. Yes. It's Gabby line. Gabby. <laughs> yes, you see this on the. Yes. The, 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 she has a white. Uh, the, the, the line. The, 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 the line on her chest. Yeah. You see it again. Absolute super quality. But you're very good. You see this. And actually. What, the pair? Yes. yes I actually, picked the pair. <laughs> actually, I have in the newspaper report reads there's a youngster, a hen from this couple, is the mother of the first prize against 6, 000, over 6,000 pictures, but not my area. Uh, other area in Germany, right? 300 kilometers from me. The, the breeder buy a picture by me and make a first prize. Super, super good. We are here with Marco Mattis. As you can see, when we come to the loss, we look for the best that we can find. I can show you the hen. And this is the hen here. So this is the hen. She's a 2000. And let me just three five five. Slowly, yes. The number is the the. Yeah. Com company number 2289 and DV 2014. Yes. And the number is 355. Voila. Beautiful. And this is the hen here. That's very good hen. Nice and slow, yes. And she she's flying eight years for you. Yes. And you have, how is the, how are you here for hawks and falcons? It's very, very uh, heavy, but it's very difficult. I have lost many pictures between April and May, sometimes 20% of the loft. Let's see At the moment I have very luck. Um, I let them fly one week and he catch only one picture. And again, let's show let's show the front end of the pigeon. No, 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 the, the coloring on the chest. We say the Gabby pigeons, you see the line. I like this. The, this line right here. Yeah. You see the different colors in the line. Yes. Very, very nice. She's super, I can tell from here. She's very, she's a strong hen. That's the, the Wittenburg, yes. It's from the line Wittenburg. It's a grand, grandchild from the Wittenburg. And when will you, are you going to ever stop her or is she going to keep flying? Um, at the moment I think about it because she's grandmother of a first prize against 6,000 pictures. Perhaps it's better to stop the couple. Um, I think about it, but I think this year I raised them. I raised them eight, nine years and then I stop the wow. pictures. I can show you in the, in, the, in the breeding station. I have many pictures from 2011. 
two very good pigeons who win the Duif, who have results for the Duif. I raised them with eight years in the, for the longer distance, the pigeons need experience. And this pigeon, four, five, six hundred kilometers, has, has, has the experience. And then now, could you do me a favor and let the hen out so we can see her go to the cock? And there it is. I picked the pair out of the section. <laughs> it's, it's <unbelievable>. <laughs> Look at this, unbelievable. The best of the best you can see. Look at the character, eh, Marco? Yes, this is a good character. You, you see this? What a super looking cockbird. Huh? The character, and same with this guy here. Very, very nice, this yearling cock. Huh? Oh, look at the pair up in the top. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's Joe and Donga's cock. <laughs> but look, you see the love. You see the character in these pigeons. The treading. Nothing but the best. This was well worth my drive, my friend. <laughs> so, on that note, I want to say thank you for showing the, the, the breeder or the, the race the race birds. Yes. I would show you that I'm another loft. I have the same loft. One, one more over? Okay, it's, let's take a quick... It's the quick, same system. Yes, no problem. Section by section. Ah, the same way again. Same. Here more yearling pictures from from 22, uh, 21. Sorry, the same pictures. And you see the quality. They all act the same way. They're not crazy. They're not nervous. And what kind of mix do you have them on now? A very light mix. A feed. At the moment, I make light feet. Light feet. Because they don't fly today. I cannot fly. You, you can see this here. Here's the feet. Here, and, I, and I show it to you, yes. It's paddy rice, I give. A little bit red powder, minerals in the... So, so paddy rice, red powder. Yes. This is their mix right now. Yes, at the moment. Then the I pink have minerals was on the paddy rice, yes. Corn was inside first, the, but they yeah. eat first the corn. So they eat, they eat the corn out, mm. paddy rice, some safflower in there, but they leave, this is what they left yes so you feed them what right now once a day two times morning and night yes and when they at morning I take them and when after 10 minutes I put back uh, out of the loft and now we can feed for the second time perhaps they have you don't they, add any more feed you just leave what you have there when this is finished I go and I give again so you let them come down they come they eat they clean it up they like the paddy rice, eh? Yes, yes. Paddy rice is very good to hold the condition. The pigeon don't get bigger and fat. At the moment, I, I, I'm for the beginning of the raising season and don't give them too good feed. So you let them clean this up, the paddy rice. When this is all cleaned up, you give them a little bit more. Yes. And that's it. When, when all eat, then they get more. No hunger. Always full. No you have hunger. to look. Well, hey, I'm going to say, I see the health, you see the condition, you obviously look at this, man, they're putting on a show for us. It's very good, it's uh, the line Finnecke 5000. Finnecke 5000, yes, Finnecke 5000. yes we know. Prof. Herbert, very good. Uh, Water root, yes. Cock. Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions, we are here, Golden Doif winner, 2019 you were. Yes, 2019. The man of Germany, Marco Mattis, you see the pigeons based of Gabby Van and Emil. They go the distance, they do the work. Oh man, look at him. Let's go, let's go shopping again, shall we? Marco, I want to thank you for showing us your cocks and hens up for racing. You can see it all right here. One one picture says a thousand words. Take a look at this video. See the health. See the conditioning. The feathers are painted on. And like Mark Marco says, the pigeons have to have super feather quality. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, too. Hey guys, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I am here, Marco Mattis of Germany. We just seen, uh, he's got the hens and the cocks paired up. He's feeding them right now. And I, ha I, I wanted to say, well, where do you put the hens when you separate? Now we're gonna see how he does it with his hens. Now you predominantly like flying hens. Yes. You enjoy it better, better results. Better, much Way better. better. They more, they're more calm. More speed, the hens comes first. Uh, very fast and they rebuild quicker yes not yes, as yes. tired yes, yes yes okay so here we are with with Marco Mattis we're gonna see so now this is your hen section you know when I separate in 10 days 
the hands from the cocks, I put the hands in this loft. Okay. And it's very important to say, um, I open this, yes, and the hands have their own place. Okay. The, the best hands, I don't know why, is it always... I go to the top. Yes. The best hands are always at the top. Yes. This is the experience for 15 years I have. The very good hands... Uh, they Take the top boxes. Yes. And then I feed them here. You, you only feed on the floor. Y yes, I have here uh, the nap, yes. Yes, the feeder. I feed in the floor, the water. And then when they feed, I have something. I say, come, come, come. And they go inside. And then I close this. You talk to them. You get them to go up. Now, do you ever feed them in the boxes? No. I have no feed in the box. You can make this, but I don't make this. It's too much work to have uh, here and then... Now, did you make that yourself? No. No, no, that's from Hermes. Okay. It's a big company in Germany called Hermes, very good. And then the, the hands, I say, and only in the racing season, in the of the 13 weeks, the hands, um, 20 hours a day in the box. 20 hours. 20 hours. The only time they only come out is to fly. Yes, fly, feed. Back in. And, and when you feed them, how long do you give them to eat? Full, they eat perhaps 15, 20 minutes. Yes. And how much time do you give them with the water? Um, when the water is more temperature, I open at 12 o'clock, yes, or 13 o'clock, and then they, that they can drink again. So you let them drink then, twice? Yeah, I look the water at the weather. So it's hot, if it's many hot. times. Many times. Yes. So you don't mind if it's warm out, you feed them in the morning, you feed them, let's say, at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock in the morning, you eat, they drink. Maybe you come back in at 12 o'clock, you open them up, let them come for five minutes for a drink, yeah. up, 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 into the boxes, then maybe four o'clock, you let them have a drink, then yes. you let them out, Yes. they come in, they eat, Yes. they drink, yes. they go back to the boxes, then maybe just before dark, another drink. Yes. So yes. So they're getting enough uh, liquid to hydrate important. and dehydrate uh, and, and, and uh, process the food. Yes. yes. Okay. And then in the, in, at 12 o'clock? Um, after the half season, I give the pigeon separate hemp a little bit. Hemp. Hemp. You nice. like hemp seed? Yes, because more kilometers. It's very important. Hemp, and then I open again, and they, then they really they eat the hemp, then drink, can drink, and then go. Yes. Okay. So uh, another question: How often do you bathe the pigeons for racing? Give them a bath. Uh, on the basketing day. Always on basketing. On, only day. on the basketing day. Okay. Morning first, 8 o'clock. Outside? Take, outside, yes. Always outside. First, and take a bath. And then, very quiet, then eat until 11 o'clock. Full, what they want. Mm -hmm. And then I put the feet back. And then they go in the boxes. I close them. And then, ah. 14, 15 o'clock, drink again. And when it's basketing, I only open the door. Yes. Take them and in the basketing. In the basketing. Uh, you don't show them the cocks, you no. just leave them calm. No. no. I don't make this. And it's very, very good. The system works. I make this the last 15 years and with the hens, very good racing with The hens keep very calm. Very calm. Do, do, do the hens pair up with you? This, because I take them in the box, they don't pair, yes, together. When you will, will they pair up with you though? Yes, yes. yes. Do you pair up? Do you talk to them? Yes. Do you play with them? Do you? Uh, uh. Yes. So you, you, they are still paired to you. Yes. They can when they make you here. Come, come, yes. come, and then they they spin around. Yes. You rub the chest a little bit, make them feel good. Yes. Okay. Yes. So you do play with them a little bit. Yes, play. Yes. You have to. You have to play. In Germany, we say you have to play with pictures. You have to play. Yes, to have fun. This is the meaning to play with pictures, not race them. Speak with the pictures. I give a nut sometimes. Peanut. Peanut. Yes. yes. Come, come, and. Yes, you have to play to have a little bit fun with the pictures, yes, and they're very happy. Um, it's, it's a good system, I think. Good but system, easy for you? Very easy. Yes. Very easy. Very easy. Uh, not a lot of stress? The, no stress. The cleaning, it's very easy. And that's how you let them out when you're going to let them out for feed? Oh yeah, you take the cleaning fridges out, very clean easy. in a second. And I don't have then more than 30 uh, hands, 30 hands, and then it's uh, the loft is full. Thank you.
And when you have... Now, do you ever use hens in here for the purchase? Yes, when I have more, I make this one. But after, because I only have 64 racing pictures, after two, three races, I don't have more than 30 hens. No. And then they all in this side. You can just take... Yeah, you can take those right off. At the moment, I have... 42 hens. 42 hens. Yes, that's and how many how many boxes do you have here? 30. 30? And two. <laughs> and two. Yeah. Okay, so very simple system. Uh, the hens get to see the cocks when they come home, and that is it. Yes. For the whole day. After that, they come in, they go to their boxes, and back on the system. Mm -hmm. uh, you don't really train once you start racing because they have enough enough road miles every week. They have a, a, a heavy grind. And, they, and you race... In Old Birds, 13 weeks? 13 weeks, yes. The first four, five weeks, I make private training, yes? Private, a yes. little bit, light. Under 300 kilometers. Under 300 kilometers. Uh, more, now, more than 300, like 400, I don't make this. Okay. It's not important. Now, when you take them road training, mm -hmm. do you let them out cox and hens together? Yes. Together? Yeah. They, yeah. they come home together? Come together, then they, it's uh, the most Wednesday in the middle of the week. Yes. Then can come together can have one an hour together and then I separate them and feed. So, uh, separate and feed, okay. Uh, on race day or, or on, ba on basketing day, Friday, when you basket, do you let the birds out for a loft fly? No. No. Only take a bath outside. In the Avery? In the foliere. Yeah? Yes. They don't go out on no, Friday. No, don't fly. It's not good because they're so full and so much of energy. You don't want to fly the race before yes, the race. Because they fly two hours. <laughs> It's a uh, basketing, no. It's important to say when I make private training, only 40 kilometers, not more. Okay, 40 I, kilometers. And uh, another question. When the race is over on Saturday and you separate them in the evening and they go back to the boxes, on Sunday morning, mm -hmm. do the cocks and hens get to go out for a fly? The Sunday morning, not the, uh, only in the evening. Evening. The so first time, because they're a little bit tired, you have to look, was the, the race uh, a very uh, fast race? Then you can make this. But sometimes four or five hundred kilometers, the picture needs rest. Uh, rest, yes. Then uh, perhaps in the evening or at Sunday, no. Sunday, no, yes. Monday, then. Monday. You have to, to look the pictures, yes? Yes. So if it's an easy race, you don't mind, you let them out Sunday afternoon, uh, the cocks go out first, yes. then the hens, and you don't care if they fly, you just let them go out and do what they, they want, a little yes. bit, exercise, they yes. loosen up the muscles. Yes. Then on Monday, Monday, they go out, uh, in the morning, the cocks go, yes. they come in, then the hens go, they come in, Yes. and uh, you make them fly, or you just let them, just let just see what they're doing? I look how they race, yes, and sometimes it's uh, the most of the time the pigeon fly very good around the loft, very good. I have to do anything, and then I look oh, 50 minutes, 55 minutes. I open the, the loft and then they go inside. I like that they fly more than 45 minutes so in the morning and in the evening. So, any, anywhere from 45 to an hour, that's what yes. you like. You don't yes. like to see two hours, it's too much, a little bit too much. Then you, then you have to feed. More, Heavy. yes. It's uh, you have little, not too much. I think one in one half hour a day it's enough for the pictures. Yes, to to get condition and to hold a good condition. And then um, when the pictures don't fly so good, I say. 40 minutes, half an hour, and landing on the top of the loft. Yes. Sometimes it uh, works something not good with the health. Right. Yes. Uh, they Respiratory. Put, you, you have to look for the temperature. Yes, over 30 degrees, it's normally. But you have to look. You have to cook. Look. Um, then you can go to a veterinary. He should make a control. Yes. And sometimes they have because five, six weeks in the in the transporter with other pictures an infect of the. Of the air, yes. Yeah, maybe a respiratory problem. Yeah, yes, and then you have to give uh, two days of medicine only uh, beginning of the week. Okay. Sunday and Monday, two days, three days. And Not, that's it. Never end of the week. Okay. All right. So. Oh, one other question. When the birds come home, do you give them electrolytes? Anything yes. when they come home? Yes. Bioelectron from the Henk de Wert. Okay. That's very good. The first, um, I think, um, 
one, two, three race. You don't need this. Yes, the picture race two, two and a half an hours. It's not important to give uh, electrolyte, but I think after three, four hundred, it's important. To so give once, them. once those pigeons get over four hours on the wing, yes, yes. that's when you like to give them yes. uh, a little bit of electrolytes, yes. uh, product, uh, vi more vitamins, more, 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 yes. uh, more proteins. Yes. That's when you start to yeah. amp it up a bit. Yes, the first race not. It's not so important, I think. Uh, but, but more kilometers than it's important because the picture race over four, four and a half an hours, and the condition it's good. But they need to full up the system at once. Yes, so, and that's very important. And then you can give electrolytes a little bit over the feet, minerals over the feet, and uh, vitamins. It's it's okay. More fat. But the first races, the pictures don't need so much full feet. Yes, light feet water and then it's good because you when you give this in the first races the pictures are too good they fly away and come back you have to play with the pictures yes play Look. yes 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 okay I, I get it so a very simple system with the hands it's been working you've been using the system for what about 15 years now the system with the boxes I have from 2006 yeah 16 years yes and, and you've been had super results yes, very good results. again guys he's one of the very best of Germany he gets the results he's got the pitch to do it. Marco, I, I want, what do you want to say? I want to say, with this system, I have some races, not every week. I bet 30 hands and make 28 prizes. Yes, the cocks make 30 um, cocks and make 15, 14 prizes, 50%. But the hands with the system race sometimes Lights near, near 100%. Lights every, out, perfect. That's, it's perfect. And because of that, I never changed the system. It's like this 16 years and it's very good. And it works. Yes. You, you, you hear it, guys, right from the man's mouth. The best of the best, Marco Mattis, his Gabby Van and the Beal Pigeons. Some say maybe one of the best in Germany. Thank you, Marco. Thank you, too. Hey, guys, Ryan Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I'm here with Marco Mattis, super flyer of Germany, middle to long distance. He's a machine. When he races, he wins. There's the little guy. See, the little team, there you go. <laughs> now we're gonna come in, we're gonna see your breeders. Yes, this is the breeding loft. Please come inside. And here you see I have only 14 couples at the moment, 12 here, and two boxes separate I built. And this is the breeding loft, and I have only here, the most of them are racing hands. Are hands with good racing results, two good cocks with good racing results, and then I cross at the moment with uh, two cocks from Johan Donkos from the line 972 and the line 048. The 972 makes uh, 11 first prizes in Belgium and uh, 048 makes nine, uh, nine first prizes in Belgium and I cross them with my Gabby pictures, yes. So, so these work very well. You have a nice little aviary out here so the breeders can go, you can give them a bath outside. One one time, uh, one day a week, I take uh, give them a bath. But at the moment, not. They have youngsters because I couple um, the pictures end of February, and at the moment, most of them. So, so you pair very late, or late, not very late, but you pair later in the season, and that's where your babies are right now. Right now, yes. So they're all the same age. That's from very good raising and 115 and very good breeding hen. Now, for your birds to make it into the breeding loft, how do you select? Here are only hens and cocks race very good with very, very good racing results. Best 10 in the big competition, best 10 small competition, fast pigeons. Um, I have two hands here, make over 80 prizes. They race nine years. And then I put them in the breeding door. The pigeons not so calm. Well, they're, they're a little excited. New person here and the camera. 
But uh, you see the super, super qualities. And again, the base of your pigeons are the Gabby Van and Abiel pigeons. Yes, the Gabbies and the Johann Dongers. And Georg Frühlingsdorf is a very good breeder, a famous breeder in Germany. Was the one time German champion. And he has a very good cock called Josef. And I buy one daughter and a one hen and the cock directly from Joseph. And Rick and Jan Hermanns, I have two. Ah. Oh, it's okay, don't worry about it. You see the quality, you see, they're very healthy, they're full of energy. And how many rounds will you take out of your breeders? Three rounds only. Two for me and one in my look. If it's possible to raise them from the third round, or then sell 20 pictures perhaps. Not so much, yes. And this year I have put many young pigeon in the breeding station, like this couple. It's from the last year. It's a brother or sister to the best of my raising hands, and I will test it and try it. So you see here the best of the best, Marco Manis, super quality, you can just see it in them. They're not a big pigeon, very, very buoyant. This is a, one of my best breeders at the moment, this is the son of the Johan Dengos 972. And you see, as we're here in the breeding loft, all the pigeons that are in here have produced winners? Yes. All, fi all fly first prizes and many prizes over years, yes. So they have to be either a winner and they have to produce winners. Yes. If, uh, how long, if you, when you bring a pigeon in, you buy a pigeon from somewhere, you bring it in, how long do you give it before you remove it if it doesn't produce good? I test uh, three years. And when not good, then the, the, the new pigeon has to leave the loft. Um, because I say one year, the first year, sometimes not so good. Then the second year, it's not so good. Then I test with another picture. And okay. when then not good, then have to leave the loft, yes. Have to leave. Yeah. There's a daughter from 972, original Johan Donkos. Very good in breeding. Was brings me a very good yielding hand and win the two if with four nominations for the mother. The, the checker hand. The checker hand, yes. It's original my, Johan Dongos. My favorite is the, these two blues here. The two blues is uh, Gabby yeah. van der line. Yeah, my line. Very nice mm -hmm. pigeons. You see the quality. Uh, anything special you use here in the feed, in the waters? In the feed, it's very. Um, I take the picture of the grit, yes, the minerals, every day fresh. It's very important. Yes. Because when you let stay them many days so it's not good and I have white powder it's very important and uh, red powder okay minerals minerals yes, yes red and, and minerals you give it fresh every day yes fresh every day with and then and the feet I have some corals yes I seen it there I, I did a video there with it you see this, this coral? Yeah, the pellets. It's called Caspar uh, Fauna P40, P40, Caspar Fauna. And this feed is from Van der Beis. It's the number 182. 182, yeah. with, with, with your Van Robais feed. Now you like, is that your favorite brand? Yeah, for breeding is my favorite brand. Van and for Robice. racing? For you... racing is very good BIOS. I use BIOS, okay. Sontian Scape. Okay. D23, D24 Super Diet, the Paddy Rice, the Gabby Van der Nabile mixing. Yes. And for the racing, I have the most BIOS feeding. For the, for the breeding, it's Van Robais. Only the best, I think. Van Robais is well. very good. Here we are at the breeding lab. Marco, I want to thank you for showing us these breeders. Best of luck this season, my friends. Thank, thank you. you. Thank hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auction. Sometimes you got to go right back to where it all starts. <laughs> we are here, Marco Mattis. Now, Marco, up here, and I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna come up. I'm just gonna film you up here. This is where it all started for you. Yes, uh, here I start the pigeon sport. With, uh, as I was a young boy with five years. It's very small loft. I have here only 12 youngsters. And now I use this for two separate boxes. I built here a box with very good breeding couples, with very good couple. For example, example Mattis Lady, the best hen in Germany. Ma uh, Mattis Lady. Mattis Lady, yes. And that was bred by you? Yes, I Raised by you? Raised by you. It was sold by you? You yes. sold them and bought it back? Buy it back, yes. And it was the, it's the best 
hen in Germany. The best yearling hen in Germany uh -huh. and was the five best in all Germany. But the best yearling hen in Germany. Super. And yes. she breeds good ones? Very good ones. Um, I get from another fence here in Bavaria. In Bavaria he um, buy a dodo, mother's lady, and he breed uh, uh, a yearling um, race seven times first prize. The grandchild for mother's lady raised seven times the first prize, and go to uh, Olympic Olympia. The Olympiad, yes. Uh, yes. So for example. Uh, and you see, guys, this, so this is where it all started. You started flying young pigeons up here. Yes. You didn't get very good results, but yeah. you stayed with it. Yes, I have not so good results. Sometimes I make no prize, and this is uh, was the. There's boxes for the for the breeders at the time, and here have some youngsters, but I don't use this. Yes, this is you don't use it up no, here anymore. No, anymore, because when we we built the new loft in in the middle of the 90s, and then I have sometimes I have here some pictures, and after uh, separate or for selling, and you leave them up here. Yeah, leave well, them up well here. there you have it, Marco Manis. Mm. Thank you for showing us the upstairs here. Hey, we would love to see Mattis Lady, but she's outside. Hey, that's okay. Thank you. Yeah. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. I'm here with Marco Mattis of Germany. Now this is a super special hen. Marco, give me the name of this pigeon. Give me the whole story on this yeah. super hen. Yeah, this, the name of this pigeon is Mattis Lady. This was in 2012 the fifth national ace hen in Germany and the best yearling hen in Germany. And I raised her as a yearling. She raised very good results. 10 races with 954 ace points was the first yearling hen. And then I sold her because a very good friend, Werner Stellermann, he was a businessman and has a great pigeon company. I sold her and he was, she was with, paired with the Blue, Blue Dream from August Waters. Wow. The special number one pair from Stellermann, Blue now, Dream. Now this, this hen, what is her background? It's Gabi van der Nabele, 100%. Her father is the Ludwig. Ludwig is a grandchild, 116, and a grandchild Wittenburg. And her mother is the daughter of original Gabi van der Nabele, Goliath with Sandrine. And Goliath is a full brother of the second place, $1 million race, Sun City. So the best of the best in this hand, in this hand. She's got a beautiful eye, beautiful body. She's got the third bar. And I like this very much, a very good picture. With a little bit of white. Here, here, here. And this is a sign of my very good breeding pictures. And I take them always at once in the breeding scene when they have white. White, yes. yes it's Decalage, we say. And has she bred super pigeons as well? Yes, she has bred very good pigeons. Stellermann told me he many uh, buyers um, say very good in the breeding, and I uh, sell one daughter from her, and the daughter is the mother of a uh, yearling cock who raised seven times first prize. So and is a candidate for the Olympic Games, yes. For the Olympiad, there you are, Marco Mattis. You are looking at Mattis, lady. It's power. Super, super hen. Marco, thank you again, as we say. It's number 6195 from 11. She's 11 years old. Yes. 1433. There she is. The best of the best, Marco Mattis. Thank you for showing us Mattis, lady. Here we are with Marco Mattis. We are in Germany, and now we're gonna look at your young bird system and how you fly it. So let's see the loft, let's see the section now. We are right now, uh, what month are we in? We are March, uh, no. First of April. First of April, so we are. Second of April. Second of April, 2022, right? Yes. We're in 22, yes. and you're gonna notice that you have no young pigeons. No, at the moment I have no young pigeons because I start with breeding only in the last week of February. And here are the 
after I separate the youngsters from the breeders, I take them here in this loft, and they ha they have only 60 places, not more, no pigeon so, more. So you only take 60 young that's, pigeons. That's enough. This year I have only 45, 50 youngsters, because uh, I have um, small up my 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 breeding. Yes, you, you've shrunken it a bit. I have uh, old breeders. Yes, they was not fertile. Okay. And I have to kill some of them, and I have at the moment only 14 breeding pairs, breeding couples. So you have 14 breeding couples. 28. Uh, 28, okay. And uh, 28 pigeons. 28 40. pigeons. Yes, that's right. Well. And you will, you breed them. You bring them in here. Now, when you fly young pigeons, yes. how tough is the young bird system? I make no um, special for the youngsters. I put them here, I feed them, I make no dark mode, and, and the, I don't make this. I make no light method, and they get water and feed, and they can fly from 12 to 4 o'clock. I open them in the loft, and they can go out. So you give them open loft from 12 to 4. Now, yes. my question for you is, you do not darken the young pigeons. No. Now, have you ever darkened? No. Why? It's not, the system in Germany is other than Belgium. It's not what, it's when I make dark system, it's had no sense. Because you have to dark uh, winter, uh, winter youngsters. Yes. Winter breeding youngsters, so darking okay. Yes. Okay. Because my, I have here in the beginning of May, I could dark method one, met, one month. It's possible, okay. Yes. But it's, it's, we have our system, we have only races uh, to 300 kilometers with the youngsters. And for me, it's not important to that the youngsters uh, fly first prizes, they have to come home. They come very good home the last years. I have on the last races um, results one to 10 without dark matter. Now, dark. are there guys in your club and area that darken? Yes, they have to make this. And your and birds still are beating them? Yes. Without darkening? Without darkening. It's most very important that the youngsters have the good health a I good health. It's now, with your young pigeons, you let them out from from 12 to 4 every day. When the, when the old birds aren't working, you let them out. You let them do what they yeah. want to do. Yeah. They fly, they play, they ha they enjoy it. They're yes. very relaxed. Yes. Yes. Now, uh, how many weeks before the first race do you start training, road training with okay, the car? Okay, so I would say four or five weeks before. Okay. But first, two kilometers, then five 10, 15, 20, yes. Small. Small, this, this small distance. And how many training flights before the first race will you do with the car? 10 times. 10 times. Yes. 40 kilometers is the last, and then I put them in the transporter. Okay, and then the transporter, how many races do they race? Only five. The youngsters in Germany have only five races. Only five. From 220 to 305 kilometers, not more. Not more. Five races in Germany. And every week? Then yes, every week from uh, first week of August, yes, and to until 14, 15 September. So, five races. Five races, yes. Just like that, and then it's done. Then 300, it's around 300 kilometers, yes. it's done. Yes. And you stop them, and that's it. Yeah, that's it, yes. Because the, the Belgium fanciers have other system. They make national races with the youngsters yeah. five six hundred kilometers um, because of this is it's very important to make winter breeding but we don't need this in Germany and the pigeons the same quality as yearlings when I make uh, winter breeding or I make the system uh, who I make this it's not important to make winter breeding with the pigeons okay. in Germany all right uh, so I, I get this so it's, it's, a, it's a different system uh, and you're still getting top results with the young pigeons yeah the last year was very good with the young pigeons. I was very surprised that they fly so good the last years. I have the last three years always the first prize on the last race and that's very good, I think, yes. Now, do you use any special type of medication with the young pigeons? Uh, it's very important to look by the youngsters because the youngsters get the youngster illness. This could be a problem. And when I separate them, um, I'm 
give them a vaccination against rotavirus. Okay. Yes. So when, when you separate them from the, the parents, and how old are they normally when you separate them? Five weeks. They're five weeks old when you take them away. So there's, they're about uh, 30 days old. 30 days, yes. yes. Thir you take them away? 25, 30 days. <laughs> That's it. Uh, like this. And then they get a vaccination. And after three weeks, I make the vaccination again, uh, two times. Two times. Now, yes. if you have babies and they don't look good, they... Yeah, then you eliminate. Yes, it's not good to. Sometimes you have youngsters, not good. It's. I, I don't know if I could say this, but it's better to take them out of the loft, not go to doctor with the with Don't the go to the doctor, I just eliminate them, uh, it, 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 okay? And because, you, because you have the, the qualities perhaps not inside the youngster, get not too much feed from the pets, I don't know. And sometimes I have one, two, and I separate them out of the loft. And also, you said you you fill the straw, the floor up with straw. Yes. And how long do you leave the straw in? The stra uh, all the time. And when the first race begin, I take them away. It's so, very important because the pigeons come um, in, in contact with the with the other pigeons, with the other pigeons, with the dust, with all the. It's very important for the youngsters. And when the first race begin, perhaps I separate them in May, and in August I take the straw out of the loft. Okay, so before they go to the first race, you take the straw out, yeah. you clean the floor. But up until the first race, you leave the straw in, yeah. and they're very comfortable. They like it. Yes. Good. Yes. Good. So, uh, also with your young pigeons, when you are racing them for the five weeks, do you train them still with the car? Car. Um, yes. When the youngsters, I train perhaps ten times. Yes. Uh, um, uh, when the race are ceasing us, yes. no, I have no. no time. It's summer and it's no not. Po it's perhaps one one time a week when friends say let us make a training race. I say okay when the weather is good because you have sometimes problems here in our area. The falcon is yeah. uh, in August here and he attacks the youngsters and then you can make a mistake. The youngsters, uh, you lose them. I lose them. It's it's because of the. I don't make this. It's not not important, yes. So we are here with Marco Mas. We heard how he flies the young pigeons. It's 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 a little different system than most, but he's getting the results and again He's one of the very best. That's why we're here, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. Marco, thank you for showing us your young bird setup. Thank you. Thank you too. Hey guys, Ryan, Feathers Elite Pigeon Auctions. We hope you enjoyed that amazing loft tour. Please, reminder to like, share, and subscribe. Follow us on YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram. Until the next loft tour, thanks for flying with me. Bye for now.